was married for 17 years. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and right around. <laughs> oh, I would need some shots. <laughs> Um, I was also in a marriage um, for 20 years this okay, year. Okay, double shots now. <laughs> double shots. Yes. <laughs> Coming this week on Feeling Sisters. Today we are graced by two lovely, lovely, mm -hmm. gorgeous ladies over here. Kind of snowballing and, and you find yourself in this place where you're like, how did I get here? But when you're coming from love, mm -hmm. you, every decision you make is just love. Then I really started to see my, my thoughts and my actions mm -hmm. and how I felt about myself were the same. And that's mm -hmm. true happiness. I'm an empath and um, I um, in kind of instinctively know kind of what people need to live their best life in a way. Wow, very interesting. I think yeah. in this room, everybody here likes to fix other people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, when you're fixing other people, there are yeah. some cracks, you know, in our own personal life. Tune in to new episodes of Feeling Sisters every Sunday on Eat, Read, Love. He's asking me how to get the most accurate placement of your zodiac sign. I use Cosmic Inside App. I just put my name, time, place of birth, and then I get all the details of my natal chart. Your sun sign, your moon sign, your ascendant, and other planets as well. So, download it. It's in my affiliate link below. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. We're doing your... This one is like a five-year announcement. <laughs> no, it's isn't really short, okay? <laughs> promise, promise, okay? So first thing first, make sure you download the app, okay? And if you do not know how to use it, I will be making tutorials with the Cosmic Insight app. So, um, so I will be doing um, either Instagram Live, okay? Or YouTube Live. We don't know, okay? We don't know yet. But you download the app, I will explain to you, you know, how to use it. So you can basically, you know, you won't need me anytime, and, you know, for, for the solo. You know, you won't need me at some point, okay? I hope so. <laughs> so I can rest. <laughs> so check the app, okay? Cosmic Insight, it's going to be in the description. And then once you put your time, place of birth, that's good. Then um, uh, as soon as everybody has already downloaded it, and then I will be making um, sometime next week. So it's going to be pretty soon. Sometime next week, I will be doing it with you. So you have your phone. I have my phone. And then we'll go through it. Okay. Bravo. Um, 2128, don't forget the, uh, the Entrepreneur uh, webinar. It's going to be in the description box. April, we have something big also. So I will not announce it yet. That's what it says here. Do not announce April. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Okay. And then what else? Extended one and extended two. If you do not resonate with this one, okay, with this first reading, go to the next one because I probably will. We're picking up your uh, energy in a different timeline because you know us in in you know with what we do in tarot, um, it it surpasses time. We pick up the energy, so that might be your situation. All the way to the end is the extended preview. So before you go to the link, you can watch what happens also. So that's that one. Um, all links is going to be in the description box. Um, make sure you also sign up to the uh, email uh, list in my website, eatreadlove.me, because normally that's where we send out all the invitation. Um, you know, we send out different things there. Okay. What else? Okay. So that's that one. So you go to the email list because uh, I would be making newsletter also. So if you are, you know, if you're not familiar with newsletter, it was invented long time ago. It's like a chain mail, okay? <laughs> but on a personal level. So I'll be doing predictions there. Also, Instagram story, follow me on Salvia Dora. Um, I do there my transits, transit planets and the stars. Um, lately, I haven't been there, just to be honest, because I've been busy, okay? I've been busy with the app. Um, and what else? Uh, I think that's it. Yes, are we good? I think we're good. So we're going to do, um, remember, I do practice uh, sidereal astrology, but if you resonate with Western, Chinese, whatever horoscope that you want, Egyptian, use it, Mayan, whatever astrology. Back. Okay? So now we're going to do your reading. Hi, Virgos. I don't know if I'm on frame. I've been gaining weight. Okay. <laughs> How are you? Let's start your reading. <laughs> I had a cookie. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Charge me. Okay. I need some sweets sometimes, but it's relevant to the reading. I know you guys are annoyed now. Oi, oi, oi. Hold on. Let me open the app. Okay. I already announced to you guys, right? Okay. When, uh, when, when we do the 
app uh, lesson together. Oh, of course, the password change. <laughs> I don't know the password, but I... Uh, whatever. You know what? Let's begin. Mercury, totally. A little testy. Okay. <laughs> I changed my password for the software. <coughs> and I don't know. Relax, I'm coughing because of cookies. So I need, I need to drink water. So let's see where it goes. What you guys have for me? Okay. If you're hearing any kinds of noise, okay, they're just uh, doing some construction in my place. Okay. Let's see. You got a temperance. Ooh, I like this. Are you teaching me to be patient? Because temperance is patience, right? Um, temperance is you trying to. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> it's the cookie. I swear, it's the cookie. Okay, I'm paranoid. Uh, <laughs> um, with the temperance, uh, it shows here that you are trying to manage yourself. You know, it's, it's like, very, this is more of like a spiritual uh, thing going on in your chart. Uh -huh. uh, I feel like it's uh, it's trying to understand the good and the bad. You know, you probably want to make something work, but you're not gonna make a move because that's a temperance, being patient before the other person makes the move. So. Um, of course, now then there's going to be silence in the connection. They haven't been talking, texting, messaging, sending the owl, just like Harry Potter. So, totally no contact, yes? Mm. Which is good right now. It's not contact right now. Temperance, yeah? Um, this is also balancing uh, your spirituality and, you know, because one feet is in the ground, one feet is in the water. So we always need both um, to, uh, how do you, to manage our life. We can't be all spiritual because we're not dead yet, right? So this is like you're exploring your spirituality and still doing the mundane. You're probably still enjoying, you know, things in life. Yes, temperance. Like enjoying things in life. This is you. A chill pill. Temperance. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see the person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Six of Wands. All right. So they're out there. Mm hmm. Ignoring you, yes? How long? How long has this person ignored you? Or did they come back during the retrograde and then they left? Uh, six of Wands. Um, are they doing this uh, to test you? I feel like, yes, it's a test of patience right now. Because Six of Wands, they do get a lot of attention. Normally those are pages, okay? So they're irrelevant, um, meaning they're not really that uh, ideal for a relationship, if you're looking for a relationship. Uh, Six of Wands also shows, um, you know, they're traveling always, and that's why they can't be with you. They're always out and about. Um, you're not gonna reach out. Okay, we're gonna. Let me start here. Mm -hmm. oh, there you go. Temperance, you got Eight of Swords, yes. Hey, because you're already paranoid about this now. They've done this before. You won't be patient if it's just one. You'll be forgiving. Uh -huh. so see, the, see the difference? Hey, sorry, I wasn't able to text you. You'll be forgiving. Next is you're gonna be, have to be patient. Because uh -huh. the first one, you can really forget it. Oh, yeah, yeah, no worries. Don't worry, don't worry about it. They canceled last minute. Don't worry about it. You know, It's the first time. Second, it's a test of patience. Because why do we have to keep doing this again? Ah, uh, there you go. Because they like to explore their option, even though their option is nothing compared to you. And I'm not tooting your horn because this is not the judgment, so there's no horn. But I'm just saying, I mean, if you're the temperance, you are way okay, um, above those pages that, they, uh, that this person is dealing. But then you have the Eight of Swords, so you doubt yourself. Okay? Leave it to the Virgo to start thinking that there's probably something wrong with me. Why do that? Right? Why do that? I mean, as a Virgo myself, I never look at something wrong with me. I always look at like everybody is wrong and I'm the right one. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's the other extreme of a Virgo. They're all wrong and I'm right. That's why you're the temperance right now. You're trying to understand their end and your end, but you find yourself confused and paranoid. Yes. Because why are you still thinking of this person anyway? Why? Is there a reason? If they're not present in your life, why? I don't understand it. For me, if they're not in front of you, they're considered dead. Yes. Because if they're not in physical form, then they're a spirit. They're somewhere else. Okay. Let me explain. If the person is not near you, 
Okay. It does not concern you because if the universe brought it in your presence, then the universe needs you to put action. Makes sense. Exactly. If they choose to be with you, they're gonna be in front of you. If they choose not, then go. Right? Mm. Sense of control is what you need to be patient with. Eight of Swords. Nothing external, outside your, you know, yourself, that you have control. Mm -hmm. If you can control the air and the sun, then I'll give it to you, but it's not. Makes sense? Person, take the pentacles. Alright, so they claim that they've been busy, open a new business, studying, got other things. Mm -hmm. You're talking to other people here. Eight of Swords, you didn't see this coming. Mm -hmm. You didn't see it coming because they were next to you and they were doing it. Unexpected. Mm -hmm. You didn't see it coming. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Uh, so they might say apology to you again. Okay. So for me, sorries are basically, uh, what do you call this? Are just, you know, a cheaper version of excuses. Once is good. Say sorry once. Say to me another sorry, then you're probably a two year old. Mm hmm. Because it's just like we're adults. Yeah. Adults don't make that, you know, second, third, fourth mistake, fifth mistake. There's something wrong if you're an adult and you keep doing that. Mm -hmm. We're just wrapping some brownies, okay? Because I've been baking. If you see, if you hear plastic, yes. Magician, as above, so below. So, you're smart now. You understand. Okay, good. Magician, as you've learned, good. You got yourself out of your trouble, of a mess. Thinking that there's something wrong with you. Yeah. Did they do that? I feel like they did it, but it triggered. It did. So you have some deep healing that you need to do. Every time, okay, yet you are in contact with someone and it can bring something out of you, those needs to be put into attention. That's your past life trauma. Anything. It can be your mom, sibling, friend, best friend, co-worker. They can trigger something from your past life. And you wouldn't even understand what's wrong, right? And here, you're being smart. You approach it in a spiritual level. Approach it in a spiritual level, not in a medical level. Mm hmm Right? Because mm. if you are having anxiety and stress, what's the quickest way? Prozac, Xanax, and what? Mm. It's not going to address the spiritual side. Magician, you approach it that way. Um, you probably also explored about homeopathic, right? Eastern medicine, all those things. The emperor. So this person, good looking, very handsome, but controlling. Okay, so that's the problem. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. The problem is they think that they're the, the shizzles. Yeah, but with the magician, you know how they operate now. So this person was trying to establish control over you. Yes, that's the power of emperor. Um, they may be a person of authority, so they're used to people following them, which shows here. Um, they're used to, you know, it's like if they say jump, you know, you say jump, jump, jump. No, like it's not like a concert. But they, they're used to this. Um, probably they, um, you know, they feel um, that uh, the more dominant person. So, of course, I will say normally, it's like, ooh, who's your daddy? No, this daddy need to go home, yeah? The emperor is not good. Especially if the, this person is just trying to get attention from everyone. Yes. So, with this emperor and the Pedro Pentecost, um, they also doubt that you, um, how to say this? That you will be able to outsmart them. So it's a game now between you and this person. Because you're showing to this person here, like, you know who you are. See, a lot of people who can be manipulated easily is because they don't know. Oh, I love you, this, this, and that. Mm -mm. No, that's Eight of Swords before. You were still, uh, what, mesmerized by the person's, you know, um, influence and looks and, you know, power with the emperor or how they show themselves to you. Okay. So always remember, let me tell you this, uh, Virgo. In a person's chart, even though I don't have this, okay, we look at, um, I forgot if, I'm, uh, if I were to say this correctly, I, f I feel like it's the UL, Upapadha Lagna, okay? So an Upapadha Lagna, it's a different computation, okay? Because um, we all have a Rashi, rising sign, and all these things. That Lagna, which is that rising sign, is how people will be perceived. No one is who they are really. Yes. You will never be seen as a Virgo. In their eyes, you know you're a Virgo. Yes, you're Virgo ascendant. But in another person's eyes, in your chart, okay, is it uh, Upapadha Lagna? I think it's a UL. Okay, I just can't think right now correctly. Okay, because the brownies are smelling good right now. I gotta go and eat it. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm gonna continue this reading. 
But just to give you a heads up, that's why you didn't see it coming. People have to be um, seen from that, uh, that uh, how do you call this, uh, that lagna, okay? So, understand. No, okay. Um, follow me in the extended preview. Everything is going to be in the description box, okay? And I'll see you guys again. I'll send you the brownies later because we're going to go lit. No, I'm kidding. Bye, guys. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. This is your dailies. This is March uh, 6 to the 7, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And remember, um, I just want to remind everyone for all your crystal needs except crystal math, you can link down there. Okay. <laughs> no tea, no shade. <laughs> okay. We just, you know, that's not legal. <laughs> just this one. The one that he. <laughs> so, it's all in my website. How are you? Sal is so fresh because it's raining. Yeah, I love rain. Oh my gosh, when it rains, I love it. <laughs> one of my best, you know, it's like, one of my best is like when it's raining. <laughs> oh, here we go, sun, one rising, six and seven. What are you guys up to? If you're gonna ask me why, so it's like, I'm gonna sip some coffee. Yeah. Mm. Yep, that's how I roll. Okay. So the court is going to be in session. We're going to be using the girl deck. The girl is the witness. Okay. I'm going to be using only one deck for this uh, court case. It's you and the other person, the plaintiff and the accused. It's the same thing. I just call it different. Truth, people. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is the truth behind the... Te oh, we haven't started. Get an ace of swords. Okay. It's the truth behind the tarot, okay? This is what you don't know. Let's see here. This is the truth. Okay. Okay. Now let's see the plaintiff. All rise. Court is in session. Here we go. Let's see what the plaintiff here is saying. Tower moment. Okay. Mm hmm. Was falling apart. I was going through some changes. A little bit rough. It's been a rough day, Sal. It's been a rough day. I know, it's been a rough life. That's what I say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can relate, Virgo. <laughs> Get some crystals. <laughs> Tower here. Okay. I feel like it's more of um, a wrecking ball if it's, a, if it's an album. Um, you know, it's like, you know, you something was trying to get your attention, okay? Um, it was being brought to light. And it was, a, it was a challenging moment for you, but now you know, okay? So this is when the universe, you know, come knocking in your door. Ooh, when the universe come knocking in your door, you know, you can, yeah. if, it's, uh, if it's a song, you can run, you can hide, but you can't escape my love. <laughs> I think that's a song, right? <laughs> can't escape my love. That's how the universe loves us. They send us the tower. <laughs> now. Let's see what the accused. This is a breaking apart also, breaking up in the relationship. Let's see what the accused has to say. Ah, it's a swords. Literally, so someone is uh, trying to get um, um, to you, to talk to you. It's a breakthrough in a communication then. You didn't expect someone to be outspoken now and you got surprised. You know. Ace of Swords is like telling you, it's like, Virgo, I have something to tell you. This is that one. Okay. Person you're dealing with can be a new air sign that you're talking to, and I feel like this person um, has been watching you and observing you. Um, but this can be you also. It can be a Virgo Libra at the same time, and you want you want to address the situation. This situation has been getting too old, and now is the time to speak. Let's see if you have evidence with this tower moment as you have fallen apart. Exhibit A. Oh dear Lord, too early. Exhibit A, Seven of Swords, the sneaky best. Oh. For that one, we got a snitch, we got a rat, we got a mole. Someone is sneaking out. Everybody's still sleeping. Here you go. You found out the truth. The plaintiff claims your honor. Oh, there you go. Okay, but they found out the truth. Let me silence this. A truth about a sneaky situation. Not good. Especially for my first um, hearing today. Mm-hmm. Judge Sal is not happy. Found someone cheating, lying, betraying you. 
But we don't know yet. We can't reach a point of conclusion. Yeah, you know, you know, innocence until proven guilty. There's no evidence, but there is a, there is an assumption, Your Honor. Okay. Seven of Swords. A plaintiff claims we broke up because they lied to me. So, Your Honor, they're a liar. Let's see what the accused is saying, because the accused is saying the truth here. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Can this day be a little bit less? The devil card. Ace of Swords. Mm -hmm. The truth is, they were up front. I was an F boy. I was an F girl. Mm -hmm. I wasn't coming clean to you. I was telling you what you got yourself into. The Q says that they were showing you everything. It wasn't red flags. They brought you to six flags of red flags, if you catch my drift. It was an amusement park of lying, cheating, betrayal. Did you enjoy the ride? You tell me, Virgo. There's Ace of Swords. They didn't lie. Why you get involved with this person? I don't know. Let me see. Closing statement of the plaintiff. The Three of Cups. It was their friend. Someone they know. Someone I know. Someone I shouldn't have known. Your Honor, that's my case. The plaintiff claims that there was a legit third party, set of swords, and as we have fallen apart in a breakup. Well, but this is just a tip of the iceberg. I'm not sure how much big this iceberg is. Mm -hmm. Let me see here, closing statement of the accused before we call the witness. Three of Wands, the Lord. What you got yourself into? So early on the, on the 6th to the 7th. Three of Wands, a double card, and Ace of Swords. Um, they maintain their distance so that they can maintain the side piece. It wasn't about optimism. They were smart enough to keep you at bay, to keep you wear arm's length only. So you don't get to attach. They were, they were straight up front wearing you. Know, don't get attached to me. I'm not, you know, this is not a commitment person. Mm -mm. Your Honor, can we call the witness in the stand? Okay, here we go. Let's see what the girls has to say here. As a witness, the witness says here, girl deck available in Golden Diamond Edition, link down there. Degrees of love. Your Honor, I have loved this person through and through. It was uncomfortable with the pumps, with the stilettos, and the sneakers, uh, the trainer, sorry. See that one? You've given it all, except my camera doesn't focus. So you've given, you know, out of the hardship, you were uncomfortable one time, but you had to. You're committed to this person. You committed yourself. That's why you got the tower moment. You committed yourself to this. To, I mean, it can be just a Capricorn also. But even though it's just a Capricorn, you have a seven of swords. We can't escape seven of swords. Okay. Um, you can be connected with a Scorpio or Aries also. With the degrees of love, I feel that. You know how you got yourself sometimes in a situation where... You know, you fall in love and you had a choice and, you know, this is what the universe brought to you. And it was more, it was more of like um, awakening part that, you know, people like this do exist with accuse. But of course, it would be now the jury's decision and extended reading link down there. We will see what is the truth behind this as this is only the surface level. I've only scratched the surface. We'll dig deeper. We'll find out the truth even further. Okay? Virgos, meditate after this. <laughs> okay? Link down there. I'll see you guys again. Bye. If I see the Five of Swords, then Narcissist. Right now, this person is just hungry for attention. Um, that's what they. they so, it, was there a relationship? That's why, for of Ones? Was there something that resembles to stability in the relationship? That's why? Or is this the power that they have promised to you? Star card. Okay. I rest my case. Meaning, 
this person will show